working that post really well. Oh, that's just and now too clever from Gaultier. He has this sixth sense of where his opponent is. Seven See that two. Selby was moving back on balance there and then sending him the other way. Well, he's got seven game balls here in the first. Oh, it's like an exhibition, that. A couple of shots there. how it stayed 4-10 game ball the top of the tin look at that beautiful shot another great width there from Gaultier creating the opening to keep in charge of this rally snapping the wrist this time on the forehand cross court. Tremendous racket head speed. At this point, Dow's probably thinking that he needs to get a point on the board and not suffer a bagel. <laughs> well, we talked about that Nine last love. night. Well, the night before about Ramesh Shaw, that he was in a position to do that to another professional and he actually served the ball out as a respect. I'm not 100% sure if Gregory Gaultier would behave like that. Oh. <laughs> we might find out in a minute. Well, there'll be a big yeah. roar for the crowd yeah. there. They're very happy yeah. for Daryl Selby to get that point. You can see how furious Gregory Gutierrez is. <laughs> Very, very comfortable for Gregory Gaultier. He really is all over Daryl Selby. Fantastic control of the racket head to pop that ball off the wall. I think he's Gaultier's experience from this court last year when it's quite dead. And I think it's 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 playing dead tonight. He's uh, he's remembering you've got to hit right through the ball to get that ball to the back of the court. He's on the rampage. <laughs> he is on the rampage. Selby just questioning that pickup. Give me odds on the comeback, Joey. No. <laughs> Probably a stroke. Stroke to Gold yeah. Game, Game and match. Gaultier wins three games to love. 11-4, 11-1, 11-3. Well, that was a terrific performance there from Gregory Gaultier, the world number two and number two seed for this event, getting past Daryl Selby of England. 11-4, 11-1, 11-3. Three games to love. this for pace this is ridiculous tempo it's like a condition game no back wall that was Ow. a furious pace furious pace some of the reflex five, volleys three. going around the backhand side and look at that that was like a tennis smash now James changing the pace up here trying to get back into the into the game at 9-5 down guess what 5-9 See here, short ball, just loose, sets up Rami for a, a drop shot. And if it's a little bit lower than that, it, James isn't going to get a let. And um, you know, I think as the game come goes on, Rami's going to hone in those drops, and uh, he's going to get really punished. James is going to get really punished. Oh, that's clever play! Such clever play. Knew the body weight of Wilstrop was coming back towards him. Watch this, coming back towards, then switches it, and the momentum he can't change direction that is 
Eleven five. Thank you. That was, <laughs> a that was a miss hit, viewers. Sorry, that wasn't a new shot he's come up with. It was actually a miss hit. Hence him apologising. <laughs> but it took a time to register. <laughs> Definitely better squash though from Wolstrop. He's just slowing it down again with the lob. He was a bit reluctant to really lunge on that purely because of the surface. We see here it's a brilliant shot, but Wilstrop not committing to the big lunge. It's a brilliant shot. Absolutely superb. He's done that a few times on the backhand. Really walloped it, stunned it. We're talking about taking the pace off the ball, but this is the other yeah. way. Low killing it with power. So it's nine all. Oh, what? And out. These are opportunities. Oh, look at that! I mean, you can see the shaking of the head of Ashore. Will shot furious with himself. Ashore knew he was so lucky here because. Well, that unforced error has given the Egyptian a game ball in a very tight second. Great hold. Uh, he'll be really very thankful. Rami Ashore is chatting away to himself as he always does, but he was let off the hook slightly there by James Wallstrop, I feel. 26. He's got a few good years ahead of him. Uh, Wallstrop again extending the court. Shaw getting more and more rattled here. And yeah, James has started to really play clinical squash. So a brilliant response here with eight game balls. Oh, look at the touch. That's brilliant. Now, yeah. So well earned there from Wilstrop. Terrific third game. So we've got a match on our hands finally here in San Francisco. Absolutely brilliant. Uh. Lunch for that. There's a the fist pump. The way he was able to conduct the ball over to that side into the yeah. nick and Wilstrop okay. getting it back, setting and off. But it's just too good a length. Oh. Yeah. And there it is, and that was the. Relief, really, from Rami Shaw saying yes. Happy birthday from San Francisco. Okay, okay, okay. Well, the second semi-final concluded. Ramia Shaw maintaining his winning streak on his birthday, overcoming James Wallstrot, the number three seed, and world number three, 11-5, 11-9, 2-11, 11-7. Three games to one.